What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my, of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off where we left off last time, we are trying to tidy up the remnants of the D uh, Danish forces on um, within the region of Copenhagen. Fortunately Copenhagen does have a garrison, but it would be very very nice if I could clean out this force while they, uh, while they, before they cause damage to Copenhagen. So let's crack on. So yes, the force is forward for conquest. And the plan after this will be probably to send one of the forces towards, um, towards Norway to knock Denmark out of the game, and also to send Wellesley um, south because we'll soon. Because we will soon have a position where um, well, we, we'll have a land border with the French. So that's something to consider or to be wary of. So let's set, send one wing of foot infantry around the right. Don't need to stretch them out effectively yet. And stretch one unit or one section down the left. Cavalry out on the wing. General in the centre, then the King's German Legion and Lightfoot is a bit of a reserve. So I want to move up, because I'm, I am the attacker this time. So let's just get a bit threatening with some of my units and take my general. I'm trying to move a bit closer before bombarding, although by the looks of it they have no artillery. So I could well I could well want to just set up and then bombard them and force them to come towards me. Still, I'm in no rush, no immediate rush, so I can let my troops march up in good order. And they look absolutely beautiful. Probably deploy the King's German Legion and the Light Infantry out on the out on the extreme right, I think. And then probably send this unit to garrison the house. And let's run them up, just in case there's a bit of a palaver in any position. <laughs> there you go, so watching a display team. Your men in the house, Colonel. So where? So they got. They've just got a selection of line infantry, a couple of mounted Jaeger units, which look pretty nice in their smart green coats. There we go. Then, on Limba. Yes, you have. There you go. So by doing this, the idea is to, uh, well, is to make most use of the space. Let's probably run you guys to get yourself into position. Oh, and they've actually. It's so starting to push the left. Form square. The outer two ranks probably form square. On the left, on the other hand. Skirmish order. Let's keep my heart is out of trouble. So on the right. Yeah, we've engaged them, but let's pivot my artillery targets. So they don't commit fratricide, which they already have. Killed one guy. They've killed Private Jenkins. Ha ha, you don't. Oh, you don't have the fu Oh, look at that.
broken, but they'll be ready in good order for when the next charge comes. Oh yeah, they're starting to really... Let's limber up, because I want to change my formation. Probably be something more like this with my guns probably more more central so these guys stay where they are as bait the glorious sixth god he just fainted out of surprise although it's probably being shot at by them Positional warfare, that's what it's all about. Let's move up the left wing, because eventually they will have to agree to battle. Form a square quickly again. Oh no, don't form square, actually just... Yes, form square. <laughs> you can leave them behind. To be honest, you probably leave them like that even in square, because they can still fire their muskets. fiddling right now. Good lad, General. Good lad. There he is. Sir Arthur Wellesley. Let's triple speed it a bit while we get into formation. There you go now, unlimber. It looks like they're coming to do battle. And it also looks like that this wing needs to do this. There we go, we can have fire superiority on the flank, bring up my light dragoons. <laughs> it sounded like a bloody buggering <laughs> and then bang. But there we go, we're starting to provide. Starting to engage.
Oh, he's a bit close to the front lines, that's true. There you go. I very much don't want to... Well, I do actually want to engulf them. Go hit this unit of Norwegian fusiliers. We're almost going to have them fully surrounded. See, they got off this one guy rather than the formation up there. So when they get him... Charge straight into him. Didn't think about that, did you? Absolutely broken. So let's turn off our artillery. There's the general. To be honest, it's steamboat the general through. Because this is an army that can stay mobile. I'll fire by you. Come on, General. Let's get you involved in the mix. You're going to run through your men. You're probably going to knock them flying. Oof. No, no, not so bad. There's one, there's a guy who, a unit that has one man there. Ooh, and there's, there he is, there's one guy that has, a unit that has one over there. Although they're caught on each other. Chop. He's becoming a very elite unit of first light horse. I don't know if they're going to make it to these guys in time. Might make it to some of the back guys, but they're not going to make it towards the front. But I want to make sure I chop up these chaps as comprehensively as possible. There you go. They've spread out. My cavalry have spread out quite nicely in response. Come on, man. 11, 10, 6, 4, 3, 1. Get him! Who's going to get him? Chap. I think it was the general staff. Good, good old Valzib's going to be there for battle commander. Three chevrons. One army to go up and knock uh, Denmark out of the game by capturing Norway. Good. Barely. 600 lost for me. And, well, three times that much for them. 200 men remaining. Blech. Oh, wow. Brutal. <laughs> more. No, that was, that was everything. Good. Oh, recruit some fencibles as a knee-jerk reaction. 
So now I've got to go and fix bankruptcy problems. Minus 715. So where is Nelson? Lists, 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 fleets. There he is. God, for a minute there, <laughs> I was like, I couldn't see him. I was like, oh no. Okay, so we need to open up one of the regions. Let's do Clermont. And then let's take you over to La Havre. Let's take you around here. Fight the single fight the single stack ship first open up a bit of trade at least Chop. we'll take it there you go it's brought back up to 7,000 then get ready to sail Nelson down to Renard Chom Chom Chomley Cholmanley that's, that's a British name isn't it good 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 I don't want to ease up on my naval recruitment. Which, to be honest, I should really have a, have a troop in there. That'll be for next turn. So, research and tech. Yeah, I'm going to get conscription. Yeah, in turn. Because now, as the Dutch, we do... Have, now, now we have Copenhagen. We've got a avenue with the French. So, I'm going to want to go down to that bridge and hold it. And keep expanding my navy. Um, military. Okay, yes, that's more like it. Give me a thousand and we'll have a military alliance. That's the deal I can get behind. Gentlemen in Denmark. Oh, I could really do with getting you back. So what's the cheapest ship I can build? Let's build a merchantman like me. I can ship you back to London, to England, and then send you to do something useful. There you go. So let's go attack Renard Chumley. Oh, I want to fight this because I want to make sure I capture this chap. Fight. So yeah, earlier on. Well, in Napoleon, as you as you can see, it takes about eight turns to build a battleship. Which, while it's relic, while it's um realistic to the uh, the amount of time one turn takes, God, it's a bit of a buzzkill when you're trying to grow your navy. So that's why I want to take any chance I can get to to uh, to expand it. Peugeot, Rose, that's Victory. So here is HMS Victory. Does she have her own little nameplate? Not that I can see. But still, she is the victory. But still, she's going to be led off by the 122 gun ship of the line, HMS Scipion. Back by Bijou, then Victory, then Dolphin, then Rose, then Echo, then Dane. So you're all going to group. Am I being? Am I doing something stupid? Six, so you're groups. Oh, okay. I was. Yeah, I was, that, that's exactly the button I was looking for. Go, Adam. I said I want to knock. I want to capture that ship. The rest, I'm not bothered about. If I catch them, then they'll just go to a secondary fleet. Um, but it's this chap. This is the one I want. Le Redoubtable. See, you'd be concerned seeing that Royal Navy fleet coming right at you. But let's triple speed it. Bit of the 32 gun frigate, stuff like that, not bothered by.
Then pivot. Then pivot and go straight. Well, not pivot. Let's do this. Let's cut the fleet in half. We'll cut that little smelly brig in half. And, to be honest, I might have to do round shot because I've not timed it well. And there you go. Scipion's fire on broadside. Pigeot has, has paid the price for it. You find your broadside. Oh no, you do. Do round shot as well. Let's get you guys into some action. Ooh, if I can time this just right. Scipio. It's a bit keen. Because you're now within fire 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 will range. Oh, that's a oh she did so I did get a mass down. Fire broadside right. So next time. So a handful of guns. Oh, oh no, they're going to be ready on time. Fire! There goes a main mast. So round shot for you, lads. I suppose I'm going to do that. End up sailing against the wind, but I need to do something. Let's see, also firing chain. Let's see if we can take out our last one. Nope, miss, so let's get everyone onto round shot. To be honest, if I just do this and just... Try come around behind her, I suppose. Because the rest of these ships, these can, these guys can just sit here and fire away. It's too many targets for her to face. Actually, I might try to get Scipion out of the way, because he's looking a bit knackered. Only 28 guns left, so she's looking a bit vulnerable. So let's try get Scipion out of there. Let's get you out of there as well, because you are not looking like a happy bunny. So round shot. Broadside broadside left, broadside right. Let's get you out. The only one that's safe is Victory, because she can because she can fire uh, she can rake her. Pigeo can get some shots off. Going to be a bit of snaking. No, just go straight through. To be honest, 181 men versus 56. Go capture Triomphant. Oh, no, she's been dismasted. No, she's surrendered anyway. So, fire our broadside. Right with you. Let's 
Let's get you out of here. Echo, third rate. Danae, let's get you out of here. Now, if I keep sailing you, I won't waste the broadside right. Broadside left, sorry, I won't waste the broadside left. Fire. So many guns have you got right and left? So, okay, I want to try get this ship down my left hand side. just so close and I'm trying to get away I may as well just try to take down that last mast let's pick Echo to go and board Gloria hope is she's been dismasted she can't manoeuvre. Send them after the uh, the brig as well, because right now, Redoubtable is fixed. They give victory pouring shots into a stern, a uh, bow. Sorry. Where's the admiral? He's not up there, but he's on here somewhere. There he is. There's there's Renard Chumley. Mr. Chumley Warner. Oh, look at Echo go. She's gunning it. Does she have bow chasers? She does. Here, have... Can have a... Uh, There you go, Redoubtable has surrendered, so the only ship remaining is this one here. Is the brig. So then triple speed. Let's go get that darn brig. Everyone else has been secured. Well, to be honest, it looks like she's going to try to withdraw. Um, I don't know if she's going to make it. Well, she's randomly dropped sail for some reason. Or she's going to try turn and she's going to try shoot into Echo. Well, Echo's going to go in and uh, put grape shot. Because she's so low in the ground that... Boom, 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 boom. There's a lot of her crew gone. She's turning it. She's jigging around at just the right speed. Uh, continue. Did I've really hope you guys heard that? <laughs> Sorry, I, I did not expect to hear that. That was bloody brilliant. So let's try turn so I can get a broadside off. Well, not a broadside, just, just fire off a set of guns off of Rose. Good. Jesus God. Make sure that got it. <laughs> that was, oh, that was that was brilliant. I love how because it was silent when they said it. Yeah, let's take the frigates. Ah, oh, nuts. So somehow the brig counted as getting away. So let's take the frigates. Let's take all the French frigates and put them up in Glasgow. So start of a, a lower level fleet down up here. Let's take Nelson with his brand new first rate ship of the line. So just to highlight that, you know, she's been captured. HMS. We know cap a captured first rate ship of the line. I'm not going to cap. I'm not going to rename all my the frigates. 
Each missile they're redoubtable. Good. Let's get you back to Portsmouth. Oh, that's an expensive thing to fix, but it's got to be done. Not recruiting anything here. To be honest, I might just send this guy to go finish off that brig. I'll take it. Are you building anything there? You are building something there. Not anymore, you're not. Sweet. So, Wellesley. Oh, I probably want to give you them as well. And the Highland Foot. Because I want you to have a, a pretty elite un elite army before you go and start potentially facing off Napoleon. So I'm going to send you down to the bridge to go hold it. Copenhagen's a bit unhappy, but they'll get better over time. Growth is slightly, slightly sluggish. Right. Oh, don't want diamond formation. That's a waste. Okay, you're going to mass mobilization. Army Corps organization. That's quite good. Okay, I think I'm going to want to do organization to reduce upkeep. They're going to, you're going to keep going on the land drainage and then. Hopefully, start to develop some next-gen industrial techs. Although I'm probably going to have to build well, like some small arms factories. Oh, and at some point I need to ship these line infantry over to Copenhagen. Um, but yes, but anyway, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I shall see you next time.